if you do this right and you really take the time to understand your own audience and you understand your own viewpoints of the people that you're trying to communicate with, where they are at emotionally, where they're at financially, where they are at just in general. Do they live in a city? Do they live in a suburb? What is that experience like? As a marketer and my hat, I have to be able to create your image to be able to communicate to those people. So I wanted to dive into a little more of the concept of public relations <clears throat> and what that has to do with branding. So I've done a lot of research and study on PR and all that stuff and people actually make whole businesses out of this where they're basically building these ideas and concepts out of needing to be in you know, news outlets and all that stuff and that's part of it, right? But if we really break down public relations it's just maintaining good conversation with the public and when you look at a brand a brand does that a brand should be maintaining good public relations with the public and I often tell people I'm like look when you're doing certain things uh, when you act a certain way like there's a time and a place to be brash and some people use that in their brands but also whatever you do is gonna stick to you right so your brand is your brand. How you act is how you act. How you communicate is how you communicate. What you show is what you show and that becomes what you represent in the marketplace. So if I'm trying to attract a certain audience, my public relations needs to be one, truthful, but two, it needs to be communicative to the people that I wanna work with, right? If you wanna attract good, high quality clients that are gonna scale your business and you can help and you guys reciprocate each other, you need to look at it from that perspective of, okay, what is my public relations standpoint out in the marketplace with my brand, with my promotion, because that's gonna dictate the outcome of all the advertising and the distribution and the marketing that you're creating. So for me, public relations maintains a healthy image. Promotion supports that. My brand, my digital assets, my videos, my pictures, my content, all of those things help to reinforce the maintenance of a healthy conversation between me and the general public. And when you approach your brand from that perspective, you've put yourself into a better state with all of your advertising. Continuing that conversation, when we work with clients, the very first thing that we're trying to do is to ascertain what that image is that we're gonna to present to the public. And why am, I, why am I so focused in on that? Is because that's gonna drive the results of the ads, that's gonna drive the results of the brand, that's gonna drive the results of the campaigns that we put together for a client out in the marketplace. Now, branding has this acute little thing connected to it that has to do with reputation management but also has to do with the ability of oneself to continue the promotion and distribution of maintaining a healthy public appearance. Now, if you do this right, and you really take the time to understand your own audience, and you understand your own viewpoints of the people that you're trying to communicate with, where they are at emotionally, where they're at financially, where they are at just in general. Do they live in a city? Do they live in a suburb? What is that experience like? As a marketer, and my hat, I have to be able to create your image to be able to communicate to those people. It's crazy, like I have clients in New York City and I have clients in the middle of North Carolina. I have clients in Miami and I have clients in New Mexico in the middle of the desert. Why is that? Because my public image, my PR, is demonstrating the ability to communicate with anyone. Just because I live in Miami doesn't mean that I can't relate to somebody that lives in Utah. Why did I do it that way? Because your brand needs to transcend all of those locations, all those emotions, all those financial barriers, because I need to get my hands and my product into their hands. And if I'm not creating a public image that represents my ability to communicate to those people, then I'm missing out on business opportunities. My ads will fail, my website won't matter, nothing matters. So when you're experiencing a loss, 
in your ads and your brand, it's because you're missing that ability to transcend all those different points that are relevant to a brand and to advertising. Okay. So to wrap all that up, maintenance of a healthy public image to the marketplace to be able to communicate to people that exist in different social brackets, different areas of the country, different cities, different emotional states, different financial conditions, all of those different things is where PR and your brand comes into play. Um, and you'll get, you get like these random messages on Instagram that'll tell you like, oh, if I put you in Forbes and I do this, it's like, yeah, that's great. It's an accolade, but people can buy that. Like you can buy that access. What I'm talking about here is long-term sustained PR, long-term sustained true communication. There are people that buy those things on Forbes that don't belong there, but they buy it because it's accessible. So really, how genuine is that PR? Because then now we're opening up another can of worms, like what is genuine branding? What is genuine public relations? Some of it can be altered, some of it cannot be truthful, and you know. When you listen to somebody speak, or you see somebody's brand, you'll be like, something just doesn't feel right about this girl, this guy, is just something there. And you gotta go on that intuition. But if you're somebody that's truly genuine that will create the content, do that long-term public relations oriented branding, you've just positioned yourself to outperform people that are spending millions of dollars on these accolades, which there's a time and a place for it, I agree. But is it vital? Absolutely not. Is it, is it necessary? Absolutely not. What's necessary is what we're doing right now, us just having a genuine conversation about how I view public relations as it relates to branding and advertising and how that can really affect whether or not advertising works for your business or your brand in any way. All right, hope you guys like it. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you need any help, visit cislowventures.com. Thank you. Hey guys, thanks for dropping by and subscribing to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We're trying to grow this thing and help as many people as we possibly can. Look, we've got programs for everyone, okay? We've got our 90-day content accelerator program where we fly out to you and shoot 90 days worth of content in four to six hours. We edit all that content, and then we do the social media posting on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, manage your advertising campaigns, your email campaigns, build you a fully functional website with a full funnel, everything you need in a box. We have our Content Accelerator Catalyst Program, which is a beefed up version of the Content Accelerator, which is one year worth of content, a custom CRM. You know, we're talking 1,200 photos, 240 videos, 240 reels, 1,200 photos, 800 graphics, 90, like every social media platform managed, custom CRM website development, we do individual monthly packages. We've got training programs on sales for advertising. We've got creativity training programs. We have marketing training programs, social media training programs, and we do web design. So if you're looking for something on the digital front, me and my team here at Cislo Ventures can help you. I appreciate you subscribing today. Please come on back. If there's anything I can do to help you, please feel free to reach out. Check us out at cislowventures.com. Look forward to seeing you in our next piece of content. Thank you. Oh,